There we go. Out of all the chapters that are in the book, is there any one chapter title that jumps out at you that you can speak to, such as the 50 is the new 50, nothing changes if nothing changes, no is not a four-letter word, et cetera? Do any of you relate to any of these in particular? You can jump in. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Well, I, I, I went down the list. I'm, I relate to them all. <laughs> right. Uh, both is the new either or I love because I think uh, either orness comes from falsely dividing human nature into masculine and feminine instead of seeing all of us as human. And I think that's where the bipartite stuff of life comes from, you know, and and the bipartite stuff of the media, as if every issue had two sides when really it has six or 12 or 13, you know. It's just about combativeness. Um, and, uh, you know, I could speak to, to each one of them in that way, um, but I, th I think the, one, the ones that I need the most are nothing changes if nothing changes, and no is not a four-letter word. <laughs> I, I have a big cartoon pinned to my bulletin board of a guy saying into the phone, how about never? Is never good for you? <laughs> Five letters. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm still working on this. I mean, I, you know, I, I feel like I have some insight into the others, and I'm especially grateful for to Suzanne for the overall title of you know 50 is the new 50 because it's like the the Zen message of aging we are where we are and in an era in which we're on cell phones and never where we are <laughs> and supposed to always look younger and even then not be where we are you know I hope that this is the beginning of a whole new era of being where where we are um, so I'm working on the others, but I could use any help that the audience has to give <laughs> on uh, the nothing changes if nothing changes and no is not. Because, you know, I do find myself, the good news and the bad news is that I find myself doing over again uh, what it is that, that I already know how to do. I mean, it's good news because I am the oldest one here. I am 75. I'm also grateful to Suzanne for... <laughs> for kindly ex expanding her title just now. That was very kind of you. <laughs> um, and the good news is I can still do what I've always done. So, so <laughs> I said, that's good. But the bad news is I think I'm immortal, which then causes me to plan very poorly. <laughs> Really, um, I the, the I think there was a title crisis normal the new normal right. every crisis, every crisis creates a new normal because um, that's certainly been been true for me and I remember uh, when I first started running for Congress and people would look at me and they would always totally misguess my age and so I had to get into a habit of saying no I'm at the time, I think when I first ran, I was 48, and then I'd say, no, I'm 50, no, I'm 50. And I felt it was really important because I have a 20-year-old son. And <laughs> so if people were guessing that I was 35, then you do the math, and that wasn't so great. <laughs> and so I felt very obligated to explain in great detail um, my, my age, but I never really thought about it very much because I don't want to be any of those other ages anymore. I love where I am. It's just, it's so liberating. I love being, learning how to say no. I don't think I've completely learned yet. And then, you know, when there's a crisis that comes, it just kind of, you know, you just kind of breathe right through it. It feels really good. <laughs> I think what I loved about the book is that um, I read words that were in my head that you gave definitions of things that I had in me, but I didn't know surprises, good surprises. Um, I was told being a, mostly a model and an actress that growing old was going to be very difficult for me, so I was bracing. And instead, I found as age continued to grow, a certain lightness <laughs> and a certain pleasure and a certain freedom. Um, and it was wonderful to read the book and see that a lot of women feel that as you grow older. The good news is that one does a, 
because maybe you've taken care of the children and all the things that you know you are brought up saying that you have to do. And at a certain point, uh, you feel, well, that has to be my turn, because if I do it, don't do it now, when would I do it? And also you realize that also being so much at the service of the other is part of the way we are growing up. So that, to me, the book was um, validated, something that I was feeling. And I think it's the first chapter that says that. And also for me, the great lesson is, uh, no, I haven't really learned. I'm better, but still not so, I don't excel at it yet. <laughs> Well, it's no for me, too. And I think that um, men will never understand how hard that is for us and will probably be to our dying day. Uh, I am constantly surprised, first of all, how little trauma happens when I say no. I always thought <laughs> that if I said no, the, you know, yeah, the, world. the world would come to an end and everybody would hate me. Mm -hmm. And uh, no matter how many times I realize that most of the time uh, that's accepted as the natural order of things. You say no, you say yes. <laughs> Sometimes they really come after you. But the nice thing about being this age is that you sort of you feel you can take it. <laughs> so, um, but I do feel like no is going to be the one that sticks with us. The other one is, and. Um, this is another Gloria phrase. I can't help it. She does it so well. Which is, do unto yourself as you have been doing unto others. Uh -huh. And um, uh, that's sort of part, that's sort of a corollary of the no, uh, because it means saying, uh, no, I'm busy, <laughs> which I always found very hard to do. Or, no, I can't do that now. No, I won't make cupcakes, no, I, um, um, no, I don't like you. Uh, um, so That's I think a it's, all, it's all part of uh, asserting what you really uh, are feeling and thinking and taking the consequences. All right, so the next one, I'm just going to tell you my favorite one is Age is not a disease. I feel like I say that to everybody. We work with it more on the outside who's afraid to mention their name, their age or talk about age or the celebrities who come, want to come on the cover and don't want to talk about their age. It's like, you guys are going there whether you like it or not. <laughs> you, you know, it's not like you can take a medicine and it ain't going to happen. So I don't know. That's my favorite one.